The success of any television program can be measured by its longevity. If you can captivate fans for years, you know you've been successful. Five years ago, Chicago Med premiered on NBC, and now the show is celebrating its 100th episode. Joining us from their set, just a few hours away in the Windy City, Oliver Platt, who plays Dr. Daniel Charles, and Nick Gelfus, who plays Dr. Will Halstead. Thank you both for talking to us. Congratulations, first of all. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, Nick, five years ago in 2015, you actually came onto our show where I'm sitting right now to talk about the premiere of Chicago Med. Uh, reflect on what it's been like for you to take off with this hit show. This show has changed my life. And, um, and, and obviously for the better. It's, I, I, I remember, it's, it's hard not to think back uh, when, you, when you have this 100 milestone episode. It's hard to, uh, <laughs> I can remember struggling in New York City, wondering if I'd ever become a consistent actor, and here we are. I mean, when we started the show, we didn't know if it would take, and, 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 here, it, and it was a historic sort of idea at the beginning, and we're out now at a historic moment within it, and it's just, it's, it's such a gift to be, uh, to be sitting here. Even oh. though this question of whether Will, whether Nick has become a consistent actor that's still open for debate, but we're just glad he's so happy. <laughs> Thank you. So do you think that uh, the Chicago brand uh, on NBC is strong enough that we could have an, uh, yet another spinoff like Chicago Dogcatcher or uh, Chicago Ombudsman or something like that and have it be a hit too? I'm, I've been pushing Chicago Nail Salon, but it's not getting a lot of traction. <laughs> um, uh, either and one I, for one, would be happy to cross over to that show. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to work on that show. But, you know, hey, uh, can't dance at every party. Oliver, your career, I mean, you're on this TV show, and I think back to, I think I saw on your IMDb that your first TV credit was on The Equalizer. And I'm like, man, that was like 1987. And then a chance meeting with Bill Murray led to him seeing you in theater in Manhattan. He recommended you to Jonathan Demme for Married to the Mob, and you were off to the races. Can you believe it? Uh, I, I couldn't believe it then. I still can't believe it. And short and succinct. What was it like working with a couple of legends in Betty White in Lake Placid and Jerry Lewis in Funny Bones? Oh, you know, it's always, uh, it, it, it was a privilege, you know? Um, the two amazing, uh, sort of like, you know, iconic American performers. Unfortunately, I didn't work with Betty in, uh, in, in Lake Placid, but I, but I worked a lot with Jerry in, in, in Funny Bones, and it was, it was amazing, you know, he's... They don't call him Jerry Lewis for nothing. Thank you both for talking I mean, to have. us this morning. Uh, we appreciate it very much. Our pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. All right. And Windsor says hello, Oliver, since you were born there and spent three months there as a baby. Hello, Windsor. <laughs> Chicago Med. Hello Harry. back. Wednesday nights at 8 right here on Local 4.